I'm going to show you how to do the class breakdown report in NWEA so you can work on grouping your students for small group instruction. So after you sign into NWEA, over on the left hand side, go to where it says View Reports, and then use that little drop down and go to Map Growth Reports. Your list of reports may be a little bit different than mine. Um, I have access to a few more, so you may see some reports that you don't see. That's fine. All you need to do is scroll down, and it'll be towards the bottom. You're looking for Class Breakdown by RIT, Instructional Area or Projected Proficiency. Go ahead and click on that report. Now the first thing that you need to make sure you do is you select the correct term. By default, it's always going to be on the most current term. So right now it's winter term, but I need to run my report for the fall. So I'm going to use the drop down and I'm going to choose fall 22-23. And then you'll see the term tested will automatically change. You may have to choose your school and your name. And I always choose attendance off of class. So go ahead and choose your school if you have to, your instructor name, and then your class. Scroll down to the bottom, and we need to change the class breakdown not from RIT, but to Instructional Area. And then choose the course that you want to do. Now, we're looking at our reading scores, so we would just want to change this drop down to Language Arts Reading. So once again, change it to Instructional Area, and then to the subject that you want to do. Now you can print a PDF if you want. I tend to just click the view report online. It seems faster and then it's actually interactive and the, the students' names are actually hyperlinked. So I just click view report. You can choose either. If you want to use it later on, you can do the PDF. I'm just going to click view report online. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit so I can see the entire report. And then what you will see are the instructional areas here on the left hand side and then all of these blue specs now yours are blurred out because I don't want you to see um, students data but each one of those little blue marks that you see is a student's name so right along the top is the actual RIT score of where they scored within those instructional areas so if you were working on, let's just say, literature and information, let's say that was an area that you wanted to drill down and work with some small groups on, you look at the average or the mean RIT score for the reading test. So depending on your grade level, let's say it's around 150. So up here at the top, all of these blue marks are students who scored at or above the mean average. So what you'd want to do is drop down to the next lower column, find these students here and through here, and that would be your small groups. Now these kiddos in this area would be probably your tier three kiddos. This middle area where there looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kiddos, this would be your target range or your tier two kids that you could probably do some small intervention work with and be able to bump them up into the mean score for the next test cycle. So this kind of breaks down your class, how they scored on standards. So once again, this is how they scored. The top score is right up here, shows where those students placed within these instructional areas. So it's a really good way to break down and get your instructional groups.